Hello everyone, Ian here at Able City in Burbank. Today I am checking out a firmware update for the TV Logic VFM 058W. Now the 058W has been a workhorse just like all the other TV Logic monitors. Uh, they have great feature sets, great picture. But this firmware update for the 058W allows us to see a new set of information from the Alexa. So I've taken my Alexa here and I've paired it with a Master Prime because the Master Prime has the LDS connections or the lens data system connection that allows me to monitor the status of the lens. So when I pair these two together and I send that signal to the TV Logic with this new firmware, I can monitor the status of both the camera and the lens simultaneously. So I want to take you into the menu system on the monitor, show you how to turn this on and how it gets displayed. I'm starting with the sort of standard screen you would see out of the monitor out port of the Alexa. So what I have here is I have the status turned on so you can see all the parameters of the Alexa. So I'm going to turn that off. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to uh, turn surround view. Well, it's on right now. I'll turn it off so you can see the difference. Surround view, if I turn that off, uh, allows me to see the frame that is being composed for our picture. If I put surround view on, it gives me this. It, kind of brings the image in slightly and it gives me that white line so I see a border. So I'm going to keep that on. Now what I want to do is I want to go in and I want to activate the menus in the TV Logic so I can start seeing metadata from the camera. To turn it on, I'm going to press the menu button and I'm going to roll down till I get to the display video menu. I'm going to click in and I'm going to go down to the third page. Notice where it says display video one of three, two of three, and three of three. And notice with this firmware edition, we now have an Airy camera status information. So I'm going to turn that on. And I'm going to turn on the LDS because I have a master prime attached to the camera. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the index letter on. The index letter indicates uh, what camera we are looking at. If, it's cam if we have a multi-camera uh, situation, you could have A through you know, whatever, how many cameras you have. So now that I have all that turned on, I'm going to turn, go out of the menu. And now you see it has now populated. Well, two things have happened. The image has shrunk slightly just to allow a black border around the image. And it's using that area to now populate with the data and the current status of the camera. So notice we see the sensor frame rate. So that's the sensor frame rate, not the project. The exposure index, the white balance. And we also notice that we have a Zeiss Master Prime, 25 millimeter. We have the iris setting and we have the focus. I roll my focus and you can see that it does a pretty good job of maintaining uh, where we are in terms of focus. And you saw the iris move as well. Down at the bottom you can see that we have, uh, I have this camera set up so that I have log C coming out of both the monitor out and the record out. And next to it, notice that I have an airy look, low contrast, engaged. That means that I simply have it called up. I went into the color menu of the Alexa and I set the look that could be applied. I'm going to go into the uh, window here and I'm going to set the look to none. And Notice that it just updated that status. So it will tell me what look could be applied to various places on the Alexa. It does not tell you specifically where those looks have been applied. The Alexa will tell you that on its status window. And I chose the to put the camera into log C because uh, I want to show you uh, the next step here. I'm gonna call up the menu again 
This time I am going to roll down and I'm going to show you something in the color menu. And again, this is another really nice uh, feature set that has been built into this firmware. I am going to roll down to where it says camera LUT enable and I'm going to enable it. And you'll notice immediately under the camera select, it showed me log C. And you'll also notice, let me turn this off. Now you see that there has been a LUT applied to the TV logic. That's a really great feature. Quickly and easily be able to apply a LUT to our image. I'm going to go back in there so we can look at that again. And notice that log C is not the only log in there. Basically, all the major camera manufacturers type of LUT for their log has been included in this. So this is a really nice feature and it allows us to quickly and easily see what the LUTed image could be. Notice that when I went in and I turned all this stuff on, I had to go into the main menu of the TV Logic to enable the attributes of this metadata. Well, if I want to uh, make this fast and easy without having to root through menus, you can go into your function keys. And the O58W has three function keys at the top. I'm going to push down on function key one and notice I have selected Airy Status Info as the default. So each function key has this built in with the firmware update. So if I wish to take this stuff off, I simply push once and now the metadata is off and it goes back to the default setting that Alexa is telling to output, which is to give me the view around the uh, image, the surround view. And if I push function button one again, it will turn on the metadata yet again. Now, I don't have to put it on function number one. I could put it on any of the function keys. But it's a very fast and easy way to set this monitor up to optimize the information you can get out of Alexa. That wraps up our tour of the latest firmware for the TV Logic VFM 058W. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.